Hey there, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, we'll be going to put our hands on the creating the front end project. So where we will do the project setup, then we will have a look at the web framework. And finally, we will be going to put our hands on design and prototyping stuff like where, what we are going to build for our front end application. So right before set up the project, make sure you have installed Node.js in your machine, right? So in my case, I have already installed Node.js, Node.sp. So you can see this is my uh, Node.js version. So you can install any version of the Node.js, but at least minimum, it has to be 20. Now let's try to create our project. So we'll be going to keep a name for our project. It's called buy anything. npm create bit, and we'll be going to use bit We'll be jumping into the beat in, in very quickly, but uh, let's try to create this project. So in our case, we'll be going to use the React and React with JavaScript. So feel free to use TypeScript if you are comfortable with, but this course is dedicated to full stack, then definitely we are not going to put a lot of effort on the front end side. Right. So uh, let's try to create this one here. Right, perfect. So our project is created. Then let's go switch, switch back to the by, uh, by anything, this directory. Now let's try to install a couple of dependencies, which is going to help us out to design our website beautifully. So in this case, we're going to use the Tailwind. So npm install Tailwind CSS and the Tailwind CSS slash beat, right? So we are going to use the Tailwind CSS with beat. Perfect, so it is installed correctly, all right? So now you can see present working directory is our or uh, buy anything. This is really cool. Now let's go ahead and open this project in the Visual Studio Code. So now it is open in the Visual Studio Code. So here we will be going to do a little bit changes. So then after that, we can just run the project, right? Let's, so let's try to occupy the whole screen. Perfect. So here in the source code, let's go to index.css. Here, what we're going to do, let's try to wipe it out all of the stuff because we don't want any kind of like no default uh, styling right here. Here we are going to import import Tailwind CSS, right? Tailwind CSS. Perfect. So this is the configuration we need to add it right here. And some of the additional configuration also we will be going to add in upcoming lectures. But as of now, this is perfect. And if you go to the package.json file, then we can see like, you know, uh, these are the dependencies we need to install. So, so Tailwind CSS, uh, slash bit. So uh, we are going to remove this current symbol. This is it means like we are going to use the uh, the pin version of the Node.js modules, and this is also we can just uh, keep it like this way. So it is not going to fall into trouble while we are going to build our application or deploy our application. Right. So that dependency is also also maybe you can use something like this. Let's uh, let's try to be, use bit, and uh, ESLint is perfectly fine. Then yeah, React React also maybe we can something like this way we can use. Perfect. This one also. So as of now, we are we are perfectly set from here, right? So what we are going to do? Let's go to our bit.config uh, the bit.config.js file. So here we need to add our Tailwind configurations. So let's try to add this Tailwind configuration here. This is going to be Tailwind CSS. This is automatically going to import from the Tailwind CSS slash bit. So now we can spin our application. To spin our application, go to package.json file. And here you can see inside the scripts, we have our dev and a preview. So we are going to use the dev, right? Now let's go to terminal. And here you can type npm, npm run dev, right? So by default, bit is going to spin the uh, the server on the 5173, right? And you can configure this port also. That is also we are going to do in upcoming lectures. So let's try to open this. Uh, the the link right here. As soon as you click the link, you can see like it is spinning right here, right? And there, there are nothing anything, right? Because we have already removed all of the style stuff, but let's try to onboard one button. At least we can see like, you know, whether our uh, Tailwind uh, CSS is working or not, right? So in this case, let's go here and let's just to try to close the application. So here inside this app.jsx file, we're going to remove all of the stuff from there, right? And here also inside this div, Let's try to remove everything and let's try to close this div from here. And here we are going to, this is also going to complain. Let's try to remove it. And this is all as well. And here we'll be just simply creating one button. This is going to be, right? Button will be, let's say, login, right? And this button, we need to assign all of the CSS stuff, right? 
the styling stuff we'll be going to cover in our uh, framework section all right so let's try to put some kind of like you know css quickly here this is going to be something like class name class name and class name is defined just like you know in our html we are we are assigning class right the similar way in the react it is going to be uh, uh instead of class we need to use the, the class name right so in this case we can say uh, weed will be full right full and busy will be background will be let's say blue uh, we can just like put some kind of numbers right then text will be let's say white right white. so the, these are the stuff we have just added and maybe we can say rounded rounded large right so that's all for a while right so maybe we can just put some more uh more styling also just like you know hover and like you know while we are hovering then maybe some kind of transition we can just like to put it but let's go with this one also just to try to make sure like it is working correctly now let's try to spin the application once again just to just to check like you know whether our um beat and the tailwind the integration is uh, successful or not right so right now you can see like this is the button is working correctly right so it is giving like a you know, nice hover effect perfect so now let's go ahead and create a bunch of directories inside this application so you can see as a part of our structure of the project we have our source directory so now let's try to create a bunch of directories inside this project right so if you see here inside the source we have our assets and we can see like all of the uh, the the server entry points files are there right main.jsx and app.app.jsx so here inside this main.jsx we'll be going to configure a couple of stuff that is the in, in upcoming lectures but what we can do like inside the source we'll be going to keep assets let's try to create a couple of more directories where we can just like you know keep our all of the required files and the the routes um, uh, together in an organized way so i'm going to switch to cd to src right so yeah in inside the src i'm going to create and get the ir right we can say uh, maybe uh, pages where we will be going to keep our all of the screens like as an example the login page or sign up or uh, maybe product listing right product details and everything we'll be going to keep it right there right then the another thing we can say components right so as i said like in our front end application we'll be going to use the the uh, component based architecture so where we'll be going to create a lot of bunch of uh, stuff just like in you know, buttons navigations or cards etc then we need the routes also so route is going to be help us out to organize like you know what are the routes it going to be accessible publicly and what are the routes will be uh, accessible for uh, privately those are we can we can just like define accordingly then we need to have our services so where we'll be going to keep up all the uh, api stuff where uh, if we need to patch some data then inside the services we can just uh, keep it accordingly then we will need to create another directory that's called store as well as where all of the states related data which is going to maintain our application states that is we can just keep it right there then we'll be going to create another one also this is going to be utils right so so inside the util directory we need to keep all of the helper functions right as an example the calculation of the card or maybe mm, the currencies right then everything we can just keep it inside right there right so so far everything is, looks good right so maybe one more directory because throughout of the application we're going to use the hooks right so let's try to create all the directories perfect so now we can see we have all of the directories are landing here perfect so now we have all of the directories and inside these directories we can create the the responsible files inside certain directories right as an example the buttons we can just keep it inside here hooks and uh, pages routes and everything we will be going to create accordingly perfect so now you know like you know, how we can spin the the project how we can create the react project and in upcoming lectures we will be going to write a lot of codes right here right now let's dive into the framework part how we can handle the web framework stuff